Hey everybody, uh, it has been a long, long time since I did my last video. I thank you for all hanging with me and uh, just wanted to thank you for subscribing. There's been, since I started, um, I think when I started I had like six subscribers or something from another video that I did when I worked at Bike Friday. And uh, since I started doing this video series, I think I'm now up to like 220 or something, which is great, you know, it just means there's a lot of interest in the product and a lot of interest in this type of uh, alternative vehicle. So thanks for subscribing. All right, I just wanted to share with you guys some information that I got from Kevin about the Pebble, um, the new ones that are coming off the, the line, so to speak. Um, so uh, as of April 27th, which is when I got this email, um, there were 51 total sold. I imagine there's probably a couple more now at this point. Uh, 26 of the pebbles that they have uh, made from the total sales have been delivered, so about half of them. I don't yet know what the actual lead time is. Hey, so um, essentially what you've got on the new system with the electrical is you've got a 750 watt switch and a 1500 watt switch. And so what that's gonna do for you is, it's designed to be an on-road, off-road setting. So like when you're not on the road, you can run the uh, 750, like if you're in a bike lane or in a, in a bike path, you can run the 750 so you're being legal and you're a bicycle. But when you're on road, assuming that you have a driver's license and all that, then you can run the 1500. For me, I'd probably just run the off-road all the time unless I was in a situation where I'm going up a big Hurricane Hill. Then you can run that 1500 watt and that should give you plenty of oomph to get up any reasonable sized hill. Obviously, if you're going up a super steep super long hill i don't know what to tell you i haven't tried 1500 i don't even have the ability on my machine to run 1500 i do know that other people that have pebbles um, have a, a higher wattage setting on their pebbles and they've had uh, great luck with even you know reasonable hills right. but long story short uh, the 1500 should give you plenty of boost to get up reasonable sized hills without any issue even with no pedaling so that's a great feature to add. Um, I'm personally going to change mine to a thousand really soon. I actually ordered the cable. Uh, Kevin sent me the information and one of the previous owners had one and he wasn't using it anymore because it was kind of a set and forget sort of thing. And so I bought it from him and uh, I'm going to be doing that and I'll actually take a video of the whole process when I do it. So I'll share it with you guys. Um, but basically I found out that Oregon recently changed their um, their figures. So now the max on Oregon um, e-bikes is a thousand watts instead of 750. And I'm thinking that extra 250 watts is going to just help get me a little bit more efficient, particularly when I'm carrying my son or, you know, tools, groceries, whatever. So another thing that they changed was that this piece down here, I'm going to see if I can get you in there so you'll be able to see it. This piece right here that um, the seat rail runs on, there's on the other side, there, or actually it's this piece, on the other side there's a quick release and that quick release um, has been stripping out for a lot of people. I personally destroyed two of them and swapped it out for a stainless steel bolt. And uh, apparently they've done that for everybody now. So you will now get the new and improved bolt that I'm using on my pebble that works amazing. And I can tighten it up as much as I want and I don't have to worry about it getting, you know, stripped. Basically it was just ripping the threads right off that aluminum bolt. Um, I put a lot of torque on it and I want to make sure that seat doesn't move. When I'm riding it's not such a big deal because the seat is all the way in the back position. But when my wife was riding what would happen is it would... Uh, it would slip back and then she couldn't reach the pedals and then, you know, not so good. They also have a new rear fender. Um, so my rear fender doesn't give a lot of clearance, particularly for the large wheel that I have. As you can see here, it's uh, it's pretty tight and it's, uh, it's kind of hokey. I mean, let's be honest, it, it works though, but see this kind of floppy, not, not the best. So um, the new ones have a new and improved fender, which I'm all for, that's great. Maybe I'll even order one from them and put it on myself. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is some things that I'd like to see done on future pebbles. 
I don't know if these are things that they will ever do, but I'd like to see them done. And maybe somebody out there is a better fabricator than me and can actually build one and then I'll pay you for it. <laughs> but so the problem that I have is I'm riding along like you do. I'm in the uh, bike lane. So I'm on the right hand side of the road here in the United States. And uh, of course, all of the uh, stuff that's in the road, the cars kick off to the right. So then guess where it's at? Right where I'm riding all the time. So there's all this sludge and crap on the side of the road and so I'm riding along. All this stuff is getting kicked up all over the side of my pebble. You can actually probably see right now there's like some yucky junk here. Well, that's nothing. During the winter when it was really disgusting out, that was just awful. There was just filth all over the side of my pebble. And this zipper on this side was literally hardly working. I kept putting that waterproof zipper grease in there that I may have shared in a previous video but basically it's the stuff that they use on boats it's like a uh, stuff that's specifically made for boats and marine environs with uh, with uh, salt water and dirt and dust and all the stuff that happens with boats and marine environments so it's been working great to keep my zipper working but even with that with enough sludge in there the zipper wouldn't function well on this side so I'd end up climbing out on the other side which is okay but there's times when you literally can't climb out on the other side because there's a wall there or something. So like at my work, for instance. So I would like to see somebody fabricate a new and improved fender well here. Something, this works okay, but the problem is that when there's enough junk and maybe I t turn my wheels the slightest amount too much, all the filth from down here ends up kicking up all over here, all over my zipper, and you can even see all the filth in here and then all the way up the whole side. And so it just causes a big problem. So I'd like to see some sort of a rubber flap that hangs down. Um, you know, even, you've probably seen them on cars where they kind of kick out a little bit, come down and then go under. Something like that would just be amazing. So, and it, for me, it wouldn't even have to be on both sides. Obviously both sides would be more appealing visually so that it's not like weird, but just one side would be enough for me. That would be totally fine. Um, Let's see, another thing that's going on with mine, which may happen to other people's as time goes on, is that on mine, and see if I can get this angled right, there's these two little screws here, and inside there's a plate of, a plate of aluminum that's like this big, and that's basically all that is holding this body up on the front. So all that pressure from all of the weight of all of this mass up here as it's shaking going down the road, is putting these little hairline cracks in here. I don't know what's going to happen long term, but um, I'm definitely going to see some repairs probably happening in here. Not a big deal, but you know, I've had this thing for six months now, or a little more. It's been about seven and a half months, I think, since I've gotten it. And it's not like I'm going four by in with it, and I haven't ran into anything. So to see damage like that over a short period of time of just doing normal use um, is a little bit concerning. Um, so I don't know if the solution is to build that area thicker to make the 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 plate that's holding that body bigger or to make it longer so that there's maybe four screws or um, put some rubber material on the in between the plate and the body besides just the carpet some rubber material that's going to absorb some of that shock. Uh, reinforce the holes with some rubber so that there's like rubber around the screws. I don't know. I mean, again, I'm not an engineer. These are just all ideas that I would have to maybe help solve the problem of, you know, long-term um, doing damage to the body just riding down the road. Uh, hey there, so uh, you probably saw the pictures that I, probably, that I put in the video. And essentially what happened is, can you bring that over here? Uh, essentially what happened is that this, uh, this piece right here, if you torque on the thing a lot, will come loose. And that caused the chain to slip off and onto the top of the chain ring, which then now it's kind of broken. So the nest, what's gonna happen at this point is in order to get home, I'm pretty much gonna have to run motor only, which works, but when you're carrying myself, which, and unfortunately I'm not as small as I could be, and my son, did you stop doing that? Um, then uh, it's just gonna it's gonna be a, a tough one on the motor it's you know it's doable but not great 
And so, uh, and there's no way for me to get that thing to stay on. So I'm probably gonna just remove that thing because it's caused me problems two other times and it's, um, I don't think necessary. My, I always wear a leg strap, so I'm just gonna wear a leg strap always and I won't have to worry about chain getting on my, on my pants. Hey there, I wanted to talk about the battery life a little bit now that I've had this thing for about six months. I just wanted to share um, my experience with the battery performance and life because a lot of people have asked about it. Um, so on my Pebble, I ordered the, you get the standard um, 25 mile battery, that's the one that it comes with. And with that battery, I can ride all week, um, which is for me, it's six miles round trip. So it's a short ride I've got a super short ride it's like 3.25 miles each way and virtually no hills there's two overpasses and they're very moderate and I do pedal the whole way um, I pedal all the time like I just enjoy pedaling and so I pedal um, and um, so anyway with that um, I'm um, getting about a week's worth of riding plus a few days and then I, I don't ever let it get all the way down to like dead so when it gets to around 40, I recharge it. And the low is 39 and the high is 53. So if, if I get down to 40 to 41, that's when I recharge it. Um, I don't ever let it get below that. I've ridden a couple times with it really, really low. And let me just tell you, you might as well not have it even, you might as well not use the throttle at all because it's so gutless, it's totally not helping you. You're basically under pedal power alone. And just so you know, pedal power alone with this thing is, it's not the way to go. <laughs> it's so friggin' slow. Anyway, so um, the big battery, it goes like forever. I mean, it's, I don't even know. I've not, I've not done enough riding. Um, I, if I use the big battery and I basically what I do is I run the small battery and I run a couple cycles of it and the other battery's fully charged all this time, keep in mind. And then I switch over and use the other one. And when I use the other one, I charge the, the small one. So I basically, I use the other one, the big battery couple cycles, use the small battery couple cycles. My, my goal is to try to get both batteries to last as long as possible. Obviously, I don't want to buy new batteries, they're very expensive. So with that, I'm able to keep going in this thing for like weeks. I mean, for the amount of riding I do. And I was using this for a while as a trainer for um, a century that I was working on. And uh, I was finding that uh, first of all, I decided to stop doing that because the wear and tear I was putting on this thing was a lot. I was doing like 25 mile rides, you know, regularly. And, you know, it was fine. It was a good workout, let me tell you. It, it's so much easier to ride my road bike, especially when there's a hill. I mean, piece of cake. But despite that, um, I just know that in the long run, that's my biggest concern with this thing is that it's going to last and um, it is my car and I don't want another car. I don't want to buy another car for at least five years. So this thing has got to last for five years. And at this point, I don't see any reason at all why it won't. I mean, as long as I'm not going out there doing 75 mile rides on it all the time, <laughs> so that's the way to go. But on the short rides that I'm doing, um, my day-to-day -day rides, my rides around the town to go get my son at, at school or whatever, it's just been amazing and it's super fun and everywhere I go I get a ton of attention.